And coming up next, we have Timmy Alexis Carrington Ward with Here She Is. Oh, here she is! Don't you just hate the C word? Can't believe you've been suspended for using the C word. Now that wasn't clever, was it? No, Daddy, it wasn't clever, it was c- Hello, who is it? Hello, Timothy. It's me, Emma Kennedy. Well, I know it's Sarah Kennedy, but she's not a bottle blonde. And believe me, I use the word blonde loosely in your case. I said it. Anyway, how do I know you? You came to the practice last week. Um, yeah, it looks like you're pregnant. But, um, I'm a, I'm a bloke. How can I be pregnant? No, it looks like you're pregnant. Oh. Right. <laughs> Bit rude. But... Mm. Thanks. Off you go. Next! I went on holiday with my sister and my mum last year. We went to Benidorm. Why wouldn't you? And we stayed at a lovely hotel with adjoining rooms and a joint balcony. Fancy. Anyway, we all went out one night and we all pulled a fella and we brought them back to the hotel. Anyway, I'm undressing in front of my fella and he turns to me and he says, Are you big bone? I thought, How dare you? I chucked him out on the balcony. He said, I shall freeze to death. I said, Bloody freeze. Anyway, as my sister's getting undressed, her fella said to her, Have you got a big bum? She was mortified. She chucked him out on the balcony and all. Anyway, they're both out on the balcony freezing. One said to the other, What did you do? He said, Well, I told my fella that he had big bones. He said, What did you say? He said, I told her she had a big bum. Anyway, as they're out there chatting, my mum's fella gets chucked out onto the balcony. They went, Blimey, I bet you put your foot in it. He said, No, but I fing could have done. <laughs> Well, we interrupt this program for some breaking news. After a series of crimes in Glasgow, Inspector McNabb has announced that he was looking for a man with one eye. And if he doesn't find him, he'll be using both his eyes. We've just heard news that a juggernaut carrying onions has shed its load on the M25. Motorists are being told to find a hard shoulder to cry on. A man in Cornwall has died after eating a chickpea and garlic dip. The police are treating the case as homicide. A man has gone missing in Brighton after eating four cans of baked beans, two dozen eggs and five pounds of Brussels sprouts. His family have made an emotional plea for him not to come home for at least a fortnight. And that ends the news for tonight. So it's good night from him. And it's good night from her. Good, good night. night. Hello. 
Emma Kennedy, welcome to my bed. Cheers. What? We haven't got any drinks. What the hell? Don't worry, hang on a minute. There we go. Oh, look Cheers. at that. Thank God for your witchy nose. You said it. I don't mm. really know you or much about you. No one really does. We've I, said I, it. I, I actually uh, pride myself on this that I have managed to remain slightly under the radar. Mm. Slightly <laughs> under it? Quite a lot. <laughs> now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What did you want to do? I became a lawyer. My lawyer has got me a real nice settlement. I just wasn't particularly happy being a lawyer. People would come in and they would yell at me for an hour because they were felt so as furious. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Because they were so furious. Because mm. th that's what you're always having to deal with mostly mm. when you're a litigator, is just people who are fu fuming. Yeah. And, um, and they'd rant. And then at the end of the hour, I mean, so I'd listen. And then I'd just go, just let it go. <laughs> just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. With your day here and you want to sue me for something. Well, I could trip on the way out okay. and then serve so sustained an safety. injury. Per but so personal injury. not been injury. inappropriate. No, I mean, I, I mean, that would be, no, I wouldn't do that. That would be wrong because that's, that's a jail term. And also, I'm not a, blind, am I? You're not blind. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Yeah. Inappropriateness. Three inappropriates and tell me if they are. Okay, go on then. Wow, you smell beautiful today. That's fine. Is it? Yeah. Complete. It's a lie. <laughs> I said it. Cheeky piece. Rude. Okay, my next one. You look really sexy in that blouse. I think that's fine. Flirting's fine. He's undressing me with his eyes. Okay, what about this? Yeah. Tell me, and you have to be honest. Yeah, first two are fine. That's a nice, that's the police department city of New York. Yeah. Is that inappropriate? I mean, I don't feel inappropriate. I don't. I for me, I don't feel that's inappropriate. But like, for a lot of people, they probably would. I mean, you can tell. I know when you're doing it that you're you're doing it because you know you're just fighting your sexuality. Yeah. Now you've met me. Yeah. And uh, this you're questioning, is my. This is my last you're one. You're questioning it's your my life. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> is this inappropriate? <laughs> No, that's not inappropriate. No, that's exactly how that, we should that's be. That's not inappropriate. <laughs> but, but this, but this, <laughs> this. <laughs> I think that's, that, I think that, that, I think that that's inappropriate of you. I hope you say that when I sue you in court. So you know about you know about the law and everything. You know, I know about the law. Well, do you know that it's not a crime to wear makeup? I said it. I'm a lesbian. You don't we, have to tell me. We are, we are You know allergic. what, I'm going to say you're a rubbish lesbian. Oh, no. You have arrived at my house and there's not a tennis racket in sight. No. The rule of how you become a lesbian, according to Battle of the Sexes, is you just offer to do someone's hair and that's how it works. It's if lesbians do hair. Normally Magic I'm on this things. bed and I've got more makeup on than my guests. But in your case, even if I just had a <laughs> lip sole on, I'd have more makeup on than you. Avon calling. So you met your other half. My wife. Where, where, where did you My meet wife, her? please give her her proper where title. Did you meet her on an oil rig or at a well, welding convention? Where did you meet her? Introduced her. Does she dip her fingers in then and help? <laughs> Sounds now, right. What, what happened was the very first time I met my wife was at Ronnie Scott's and um, and she came out to say, "You would you like to come come back and, and say hello to Alison? So that was technically the first time I met Georgie. And I can remember looking at her and thinking, Cor, you're nice, but in a, in a, oh, it's always the straight girls I like sort of way. All right. Who knew she was a gay? What a gay day. How does she cope? Talk, talk me around that. She's an angel. She must be. But she's very funny. We laugh all the time. I'm not surprised. In the bedroom, no doubt, as you undress. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't beat around the no, bush. No, I don't beat around With the bush. With your wife, do you ever beat about her bush? <laughs> it's as good as you get, girl. I want all of these branches cleared out of here now. So, uh, my first job was writing for Mel and Sue oh, on The Light Lunch. Mel and Sue. How did you get to meet those two? They saw me at a comedy club. And what did they do? Feel sorry for you? What did they, they looked why? at me and they said, Pity. and they thought, we want Need to help what her. she's got. Really? Yeah, they did. And so I went to work. What was that? Them. A cab home. <laughs> <laughs> We're 
too. Let's talk about your writing. Yes. What was your first book? Uh, how to bring up your parents. It's it's really bad. Yeah. It's rubbish. Mm. I haven't read it. I'm a dyslexic, so but if then, I read, I want to read something good. Yeah. Well, I've my, not my read second, any of your books. My, se my second book <laughs> is I good. Said it. Uh, my second book is called The Tent, The Bucket and Me. And it went into a telly programme. It was made into a programme called The Kennedys, yes. And which I watched last night. Which episode did you watch? The bit where he's going on the road and then he gets shot in the back of his head. What? And Jackie jumps. Oh, God. Is that... Have I watched the wrong programme, girl? Oh, Timothy. I said it! <laughs> oh, you are awful. But I like you. <laughs> Uh, it was a little bit tricky because my mother died three weeks before we started filming it. And when she was dying, I uh, I read the scripts to her on her deathbed. Uh, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And she she stopped me. She put her hand on my arm like this. I'll and be your she, mom, and yeah. she and she went she went. You need to change that name because your father still sees her in Sainsbury's. That was almost the last thing my mother Aww. said. Yeah. I was going to say, it was a sort of double tragedy, wasn't it? Your mum died and the series died, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you were on death watch for your mum, weren't I you? I was death monitor. Yeah. You weren't um, very good at that job, were you? I was absolutely useless at it. What, what happened was we were all gathered around my, my mum, mm. uh, waiting for... When you say we were all, I wasn't there. No, you weren't no. there, but, you know, the, the, people the immediate be, family yeah. were yeah. there. Oh, I know, and I wouldn't dream of crashing it. And her breath had gone very shallow, and we're all, I'm watching her like a hawk. And then it sort of stopped, and, and I thought, no, wait, wait. Wait, wait, and then I and turned then did you to think, everyone. No, forget and the wait. I said, I'm going to look like it. I am. She's still going to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I said, and I said, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> I <know> said, <laughs> bitch. And I turned to everyone and I said, she, that's it, she's gone. So crying, keening, wailing Looking and I'm like and I've like and, and my forehead is is down on the bed like that and I'm going ah, ah, and something in me just goes no Emma Emma just check just double check and then I'm, as I'm crying like this ah, ah, my my could you put your arm out like I'll that I'll be your mum again yes so there's the arm and my hand my hand ah, turned up ah, 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 and my and my fingers just went like that to her wrist and then I had to go no, ever I can feel the pulse. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gone. You're obsessed with politics, aren't you? I'm very interested in politics, yes. Now, I'm glad you are, because I love Trump. <laughs> no, you don't. I, why would I don't you not? believe you. What, 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 right, what name they me, have done name is me, brilliant. Name me five things that you think are good about Donald Trump. Oh, sorry. No, Ivana Trump. I love how she does her hair oh, and yes, all her makeup. Right. Who cares? It infuriates me when uh, people get away with s. It infuriates Isn't me. It? A bit like this show. This is uh, infuriates I so said many it. people. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. You said it. Last thing I want to ask you. Yes. Is you one. Master Chef. Yes. As a writer, did yes. you not, after you won, want to write a little chef book? I thought about it. Because you could have done one on flanges or something. I could have done But I was playing on words. Because you were a lesbian, I went flan, flange. It was clever. Some jokes are timeless. What, what's your next thing? I know you're very busy. I'm, I'm working on an adaptation of David Walliam's new book. I'm allowed to tell you about that. Are oh, you? Yeah. I'm about to start on a second series of Waffle the Wonder Dog. Oh, you know what? You are up I'm there, living the you? dream. You are. I'm eating fancy chow and drinking fancy wine. It's been Look absolutely a pleasure. You're a lovely, lovely lady and you're putting back what you've taken out of this business. Not much coming on my Not show. much. <laughs> Can we have a selfie before we go? Oh, really? Yes, dear. I know it's not going to be pretty. <sighs> Come on, then. Don't call me common. Come on, then. I can... Oh, look, you look quite fun in my picture. So, top left. I said that to my husband last night.
Oh, you come straight from work? Yeah, straight from work. <laughs> Telling me. Right, have you heard about my comedy slot? I do yeah. know about the comedy so slot. So this one, I've sort of based, I'm imagining it's you and Georgie. <laughs> You like your animals, you've got lots of animals. And remember yeah. that time when the council came round to your house? Well, which time? There's many times. <laughs> Let's have a go, shall we? Okay, ready? Let's go. Here we go. Remember when the council came round? I have a few complaints about the smell outside here. Oh, I disinfect them every day. You do? Well, that's Georgie disinfects every day. Georgie's very thorough. Dog come out and do. Oh, did he? <laughs> it the dog, dog did the doo doos, didn't it? And that's why it smells. It it's nothing to it do with all those cats. It wasn't the dog. The two bedroom flat is home to two tenants and their 20 four legged friends. Is she back in? Is she in? Got a lovely property, haven't you? <laughs> what I loved about, <laughs> I loved about that was, was whenever you. Get, look, it's the, it's the startled look by the cats. Oh, Chaotic here, isn't it? Only when it's trying to come out of it, actually. Yeah. It's not like this normally. You know, I've done a. You know, I've done one. Just. You clean it up later, it's fine. What have you. Oh. <laughs> I wondered what you were saying, girl. <laughs> look, you have to half their animals. Would you look at Ray Hyman? Look at, look at you. Look at that's that. you. The, that, that's oh the classic. No, you love that. all your animals. Do you know what that is, though? That's the international mime for I've been found with 20 animals who are all doing that's shit to other people's property. That's correct. That is the international mime for that. Did you know that? Well, you did that today to me, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. I have a complaint about someone. I'll have to investigate that as well. I think they're just picking on us because we don't. That's why they're picking on Nothing to do with the stench or anything. When I came here, I thought that was pretty. I would honestly say to half the numbers of cats you've got. Well, that's what you've got to do. We Why don't you worry about this? Yeah. Will you remember when Georgie used this language, didn't she? Is that all right? Yeah. Look. Whoever found you. Tell them I'll have their guts for guards. Now, I'm sorry, <laughs> the council probably can't oh, use... The, their guts for guards. The council can't use that sort of language. Tell them I'll have their guts, guts for guards. For garters. Guts for garters. Well, that really is an expression. I slightly want a T-shirt now that says guts Gu for I'll garters. have your guts for garters. Let's go on. Yeah. Whoever found you, tell them I'll have their guts, guts for garters. garters. And look at afterwards, guts. Georgie. Oh, wow. Look at She's this. upset, oh, isn't no. she? She does oh, love Elvis, though. Is she still treated them, oh, Georgie? Sorry. Yeah. Fair yeah. dudes. That's what she'd say. But you can say they're all fed. They're all fed. Yeah. She's got a freedom t-shirt on, hasn't she, Georgie? I'm enjoying the fact that the t-shirt matches the sofa. It does. Look at this. Also, look at the shovel that seems to be on the wall. Or oh, shoveling her shit. I'm fed up with it all. I'm fed up with it all. <laughs> I'm fed up with it all. Let's just have I'm fed up with I'm, it all. I'm fed up with it all. Oh, I'm fed up with it all. Who isn't? I said it. Where's she gone? Oh, we all know where she's gone. I tell you what, I'll give her something to write about. I said it. It's all you have to do. Do you mind? I've just got to a good bit and also I'm reading. I got my swim cap and cold oh, This is one of those Timmy toilet shows. I got my lipstick, a mirror, and my suntan lotion and my camera too. I've written a book about camping, but this takes the biscuit. Full of all the necessary items for a day in the sun. And of course it wouldn't be like me if I didn't bring along sun sunglasses. Silly bitch. To hide behind, hide behind sunglasses. I don't know about sunglasses, I need earplugs. I could write a book about this, but no one would believe it. I and cry inside. I heard and watch you while you blurred with your somebody new of making me blue. I can't hang about watching this rubbish. I've got a book to write. Right. Ooh, sunglasses. You said it.
We've just heard that a juggernaut carrying onions has shot its... <laughs> shot its load. <laughs> really? That's where your brain is. <laughs> <laughs>